Hello there, everyone, and welcome back. Bugmod here. We just took out. Um, yeah, I'll say that. We just took out the big bad of this floor. Which was Kurt and it. Well, Kurt's doppelganger, I suppose. We got the next key card, so we can go up another floor if we so desire. But we also still have to go check the other floors for all of the goodies. Blue card! Yes. Tournament. Ooh! The tournament invitation! What do a shortest guy and what you're looking at now have in common? A bear chest! Ah! Comedy. Celestial Bomb. Congratulations! Look at me. You missed all the best weapon of the game. Oh! I think that's a lie. I wouldn't do that in this Grand Slam. Maybe the, ones who, maybe the one who is actually empty is the person double checking open chests all over the place. It's true. There's a void in my heart, and I can only fill it with comedic little chest sayings. Anyhow, we got a good gun. That's going to go to our lovely little engineer child. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, that'll go take us upstairs, which we don't want to go to yet. I'll finish exploring this floor first. A water gem. You'll say I lack substance. Well, you do now, buddy. Oh, there we are. See, yeah. So, it's going to be one of these. There we are, yeah. It shines brightly into the sky. Getting me all the septh a man could want. Was that really it? On this floor? It appears so. Which means we gotta go to the other floors now. We'll go to first floor first, and then we'll work our way up. That way, I won't have missed a thing. Mm -hmm. Nope. All right. Because mm -hmm. you never know what may lie hidden in those things. Of course, this backtracking is a whole lot easier in this game, so I don't have to worry about um, I don't have to worry about uh, come on, come on, words come to me. Random encounters. Yes, that's the word I wanted. I can see all my enemies and thus avoid where I wish. Is there no door on this floor that needs the blue card? Aha! Ooh. Those who seek to enter this door must first become a trial. All right, you know what? I'm down for a trial. I'm down for a trial. I'm certainly down for a trail. Plus, I got my full party. Star Chamber. Hmm. All right, horrible monster demon, show me what you got, you little wiggly bastard. Oh, hmm. reflects arts. Okay. That's that should be bad actually, because somebody is at full power. Mm, yes. They should do some damage. Mm, oh yes. Oh yes. Mm. 
Eh, I'll be able to handle this no problem, really. I mean, we're already, they're already down, too. Yeah, this is going to be a very easy trial. Analyze the combat data. No. But thanks for the healing. Yeah. Oh, you could, yeah, you can finish off the one dude. Goodbye, little robot. And then we finish off the other robot. Leaving only the big bad himself. Oh, he's a tougher. He's a tough one. Shouldn't matter though. Uh, let's do this. There's that damage I wanted to see. Uh, do you have any good buff spells? No red magic? No fort spell? Or anything? No? Alright. And you've got a good buff spell, well, of sorts. That really is why Estelle is one of the one of the good ones. Dropping out that morale on the first turn, giving it that attack boost to everybody. It's a solid game. Alright, let's just kill this guy now. Shouldn't be hard. Unless Mueller keeps missing. What? All right, well, I guess we're going to focus definitely on you now. Because I really can't afford to have you summoning goons all the time. World Shaker? Hmm, all right. And you did paralysis. Annoying. Shouldn't matter though. Still won't matter. Still won't matter. Uh, what to do with you? You know what? Tell you what. Just make him. No, make her faster. Sacred Breath, everybody heals, everyone catches up their debilitating effects. Yeah. I guess I'm gonna have to go back to the tournament after this. No, I'll finish exploring um, these lower floors first, and then I will go back. Oh, so close. Goodbye, robot. Oh, that's a good hit. Here, let's do let's do this. You may not be the heftiest hitter in the group, but you do you have good magic. You make a solid healer, Rene. You may have missed your calling for being a murderous little child. 
And the finishing blow. Yay! We did it, everyone. Oh, yeah. Some levels, get some wonderful stuff. Alright, show me my memory fragment. Yeah. Yeah. What's in this one? What could we learn? Oh. 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 It's a certain phantom thief of ours. An investigative report on Phantom Thief B. His crimes, his history, and his true identity. Imperial Chronicle Investigative Team. Mm -hmm. Concerned about true colors, bracer guild. Right on the top, liberal news. Okay, a lot of little stuff there. Phantom Thief B has had quite the lengthy and productive career in thievery in the Empire, as the amounts of records we have been able to find in his crimes proves beyond a doubt. From numerous paintings held in the Imperial Art Gallery, to a septium crystal held in the Empire's customs warehouse, to even a cutting-edge tank held in the Imperial Army a research facility. Nothing is truly safe when he desires to steal it. This carcass art limited to inanimate objects. He's been guilty of pretending to be a military officer and eloping with the wife of a marquee on one reported occasion. Mm, well, that that makes him a little. That puts his creepiness into an entirely different factor. Yet, and this is the most, perhaps the most baffling part. There is no evidence to suggest he has profited from his exploits. Rather, the object stolen is the end of places so bizarre that their owners are liable to faint upon hearing about them. In other cases, they are transferred to Mira, which then right down to the sky in areas largely inhabited by those less fortunate. Hearing this, one might, one might be led to think him a vigilante thief who takes from the rich and gives to the poor, but make no mistake, the truth is not so simple. It's true, he uh, pretends to be people's husbands and then goes on retreats to them, and you know what we call that? See, the wife of the Marquis discussed earlier is a fine example of that. It has been a little over half a year since the elopement took place. Since then, she has remained unaccounted for. So, yeah. Kidnapping and who knows what else. Many of the items stolen to him may return in the, uh, to the public eye in some fashion, but not all. So, techniques and bizarre behavior regarding weak sins. Thefts are purely whims and nothing else. Upon studying the overall picture and reviewing the objects, indeed, people in play, there's one specific thing in common. Take the artwork stolen from the Imperial Gallery, for example. Each of them were strokes of pure genius, painted by a master of their craft. But they gained a reputation for being too complex for the target audience of such works, vulnerability, and were shamefully stored away instead of placed on display. Similar could be said of the Septian Crystal. Known for its unparalleled beauty, after being seized by customs, it was sealed away in the warehouse and doomed never to be admired by the human eyes again. The tank, again, is one more example. With its promising development cut short, rather than put to use, it was left collecting dust. As an aside, the case of the Marquis' wife does contain some striking similarities. Smeared Mary devoted most of his attention to his concubines and barely spared a thought for her. Let's see, we can we see now the underlying motive for his actions is finding objects of beauty that have been abandoned by the world and freeing them from their foolish owners. No matter how the world may see his crimes, his motive is clear. The truth of that is evident in the cards he leaves before committing his crimes. This is the so called liberation of beauty mentioned upon each of them. Phantom Thief B steals not for money, but for an ideal he believes in. It is in this fact, we believe, are clues to his true identity. Good old Phantom Thief Blue Block. A number of valid theories have come about on the face behind our famed thief. And they are lacking in conclusive proof as they are numerous, and so it is impossible to say whether any of them is actually correct. Mm, to complicate matters further, we now even have deranged individuals coming forward pretending to be him, allowing themselves to be captured by law enforcement. That is not to say, however, that none of the theories circulating are at all plausible. 
Here we introduce three such theories which have d developed significant following and may not turn out to be too far from the truth. I like the truth. Amherst Con Artist X. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Well, let's, well, we'll look at this and see what happens. Let's see. X is known for his exceptional skills as a con artist. He faked his own identity in order to engage in a romantic relationship with many noble women. He was as handsome as he was capable, and he was exceptionally proud in nature as well. Born to a poor family in the temperate south. Became used to stealing in order to make ends meet from a young age. Hmm. But he was never... Ooh. He was never once caught in possessed thefts. Caught for thieves to a con artist, sent from falling with a noble and much higher social standing than he. And the role of the aristocracy was absolute in the country he called home, and blessed romance between those of different classes unthinkable. He created a false identity in order to make his dream possible. Following his first rather success, he came to do the same on a myriad of other occasions, indulging in one forbidden affair after another. Uh, let's see. Near ten years ago, he was arrested on suspicion and then vanished. Okay. Let's see. No one's had remarkable what we see. Okay. Uh, also noted that he displayed no interest in their fortunes. Okay. He's unable to indulge in them because of something as trivial as social class. Strike resemble to the thief's own views on beauty. Okay. Tragic artist Y. Y's personal history. Okay. An artist with a ratchet tragic past. Little class family in the north. Hired by an influential aristocrat. Okay. Hmm. Ah. He was also responsible for a number of counterfeit pieces. The man who hired him thought, uh, sought to profit from such ill means. Okay. He suddenly left the service. Reason remains unknown. That's where the tragedy begins. After immediately leaving, he got terrible news. His lover... The daughter of a respected family had been killed in a traffic accident. Okay, it's rumored the noble may have had a hand in her death. Hmm. I was only spotted once more at his lover's grave, for forever disappearing from the public eye. To those who knew his history, he became known as the truly tragic artist. Several years there, the noble was murdered. Thoughts? Some unsolved mysteries surrounding it has invited much speculation. Hmm. Phantom Thief B has been known at times to try to dispose of counterfeits, believing them to be false beauty. Okay. But the world of the counterfeits he himself created. Okay. Oh, the forgeries disposed of by Phantom Thief B were indeed the works of Y. Interesting. Then we have skilled martial artist Z. Okay, Z is very different, okay? But still plausible. Born in the Far East, the son of a famed military family man. Attractive, delicately built young man, but he was far more skilled in martial arts than his fame would suggest it, being blessed with great natural talent. A keen, sharp mind, and there was a mild air of arrogance about him, too. Blessed in nearly every way, he came from an important family. He had skill, he had looks. I feel bored with his world around him. After his voices could place to anyone with an air shot. One day, he simply disappeared, telling no one where he was going, and leaving nothing to suggest his next destination. Much of this theory is based on the idea of geniuses being uh, eccentric by nature. Hmm. Some say the fighting style is similar. Okay, so but apparently this one has little, little to go for it. All right. So basically, the only reason people go with this idea is, hey, guys from the East, exotic. Yeah, all right then. And the end of outlining three very different theories. Could X, Y, or Z be perhaps something else? Hear the truth of the man himself. However, whether we can trust anything he says is a discussion for another time. All right. Received a card, believe it should be himself. Card is Truth my identity is already within your grasp. My numbers reveal all. My number reveals all. Judging by this, it's believed that the one of the three theories is of the true identity of Phantom Thief B. That said, uncovering the meaning behind his word has proven to be a trying task. Okay. 
Well, there's two immediate things. The um, First of all, as a member of Ouroboros, they have a number assigned to them. I can't remember what his is. Alternatively, uh, B is the second letter of the alphabet. So yeah, number one or two. So I don't know what time will tell. Yeah. So if I could remember... Ooh, Phantom of Thieves Cape. Some cash. If I could remember... Which of those three... What, what his number is... Sadly, there's no... Files. No. Sadly, this does not come with an encyclopedia. So I think that's everything on this floor. We'll go to... Second floor. But, you know what? Let's put this off until next time. So thank you all for watching. If you remember what the Phantom Thief's number is in the Ouroboro Society, uh, please share with the class. I would like to know if my thoughts were correct on the whole matter. Uh, otherwise, I'll talk to everyone later. And, uh, yeah, talk to everyone later.